And here we go again. Just recently, at our local computer club, I passed a pad around so that people could write down ideas which uh, they may be having trouble with at home, maybe things they didn't quite understand, or maybe things which are just annoying them and they want to just get clarified a bit. And out of the uh, 15 ideas that we were uh, given, I've selected a few just to uh, create demonstrations with. And today I've decided one of the questions was... Uh, how do I put information on a stick? Well, obviously a stick, I, I assume you mean a stick like this pen drive. Um, very similar to that. That's a stick. That's what we call a stick. And so I'll use this one. And it's very simple. I'll just plug that in. I'll lose the picture. So it's now plugged into the computer. And as you see, if I just go to my PC here, you'll see it has its own icon. I've put an icon onto all my sticks. More moreover just to help me identify them very quickly when they come up rather than seeing this USB drive F, G, USB drive H, USB drive K then it comes up here as uh, its own little icon. So how do we do that? Okay so there it is we'll have a look on there we've already uh, seen it very briefly uh, there's my icons there's an auto run information which as soon as you plug the pen it'll read what it says and there's nothing much in there all it says is icon equals icon icon so that's it it's not um, mind-blowing and I put the icon there and that's all it does it reads it so I've gathered together quite a comprehensive <laughs> as comprehensive as it's gonna get just a list of some of the things I keep on sticks uh, sound driver for a portable sound card if you like screensaver for Marmite um, USB adapter, the wireless dongle, I think they call them nowadays, I have a wireless dongle I keep in a, a little carry pouch just in case it gets stuck somewhere and need to connect to the internet. Advisor installers, a little program I use to help find information on computers. A Firefox installer, which we'll come to that maybe a bit later on. And also Opera installer set, set up. I keep my Windows Home 7 number there in case I lose windows in which case I can reinstall it easy and of course one or two other bits and pieces just handy things to have so there's no great deal in it but don't lose any of this stuff that's the thing so from the icon which is sitting on the desktop here it's just a straightforward folder and that can be anywhere on your computer if I go into it, it could be let's go to my website drive um, it could be any of this lot which is just a, a few movies. The only thing to watch out is when you put your compil compilation together is highlight it all and right click and go to the properties. Now the point of doing that is it'll tell us exactly how much space this will take up. Not too bad in this case because we're only talking on 384 megabytes. 402 when it's uh, been put onto the stick and the reason for that difference is basically it's the calculation between um, real-time memory we say oh look something is a megabyte big uh, it's actually 1.048 uh, megabytes big because of the multi multiplica multiplication tables used in digital counting anyway uh, we've had a look we have a look on the pen drive if we just go up a level and have a look on here we can see this has got um, 3.76 gigabytes free of 3.76 in other words it's empty you know it's got nothing on it apart from these two little files and they are microscopical to 24 kilobytes and 29 kilobytes so it's not exactly mind-blowing stuff so in in this folder where we have everything collected together this is the one we're going to transfer quite simply highlight the lot and then right click and drag it to the pen drive okay just show that again we highlight everything with the left click on the mouse and drag it upwards so it highlights everything this can be photo can be anything you like photographs can be music can be files generally just data so drag it up and literally right click drag it across and then either copy it here or move here presumably if it's a backup you need to uh, copy it but if it's just a way of keeping it separate from everything else we can move it so how long is that going to take not too long i hope anyway so as you can see it, it's it there is a this is an older pen i will just add that so it's not the hyper 
fast performance that you get nowadays on some of the modern pens. But uh, So it's a bit slower than perhaps the modern day pens. It's also copying a big file here. If you look here, there's LibreOffice. Now that is the entire Office suite uh, that is released from LibreOffice. Uh, what else have we got here? Wallpaper Changer, that's a little program which changes your desktop wallpaper. Sound Driver, that's a complete set of driver there, I'll just put very quickly. As you can see, it's folders and uh, it's got an entire manual on there, so it's it's very, very, very good. Is that still copying or have I interrupted it? No, it's still copying there. Just drag that over to one side. And if, if you lose that icon, you can't you can't find it. If you just go down to the bottom and hold your mouse over the uh, icons that come up, you can then just click on the various pages to get them active again. So all in all, this has taken, what, some four, just under a minute, I should think, to copy this lot. It's just doing the wireless USB adapter, and again, that's quite a big file that we have there. It's uh, to run a portable device. So that's uh, pretty much it. So now, if I close that and close it. In fact, I could lose this uh, folder altogether because I don't need it anymore. So I can delete that. That's made space straight away. So I can now go down and where the little uh, icon is, you can remove software, eject the flash disk. There we go. And it's safe to remove that now. And there's the pen drive out. So a week from now, a month from now or whatever, I can... Uh, plug that back in hopefully let's just bring this up there we go there's my uh, disk drives I'll plug it back in again and hopefully <laughs> it not only brings up the list of stuff I've just put on there but also brings up the icon and as you can see um, the blue marker there shows how much space is taken on the disk and it's as simple as that it's a lot of people say oh why are you wasting time showing us think simple things but remember we know how to do them and it's only the people that don't know how to do these things or understand why they do these things that will maybe find interest from this video but certainly how to put data onto a pen drive that is simple there's no hidden secrets here you just literally drag and drop and there you go thank you very much for listening i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have then please follow my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel, give me the thumbs up and all the rest of the uh, rigmarole that goes with saying I like that. Anyway, thank you and bye for now.